Women always complain that men never remember. Honey, when's my birthday? Uh, May... Temper? It's the same as last year. Did you forget? You forgot. I can't believe you forgot! Very few things upset my girlfriend. You're the worst boyfriend ever! I feel unique to be one of them. And men always complain that women never forget. Hi honey, how was the studying going? <sighs> Not good. I have to memorize all the bones in the human body. That's easy. I made up a song for that. The elbows connected to the hip bone. The kneecaps connected what? to the... We've all heard this joke before, but did you know there's some actual physiological basis to this? Today I, along with my little cousin Peaches, will teach you how the hormones testosterone, estrogen, and oxytocin contribute to human behavior. Testosterone, the king of the male sex hormones. It makes men dominant and aggressive. Be aggressive! Be aggressive! Now, some men have high levels of this hormone. These guys are usually tall, they have those straight protruding brow ridges, and large strong jaws. Dun 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 dun! They are more likely to have a stronger immune system, a higher social status than their male peers, and be more fertile. But ladies, beware. Numerous studies across the US, Kenya, and Beijing have shown that men with high levels of testosterone, including single men, men in unstable marriages, and men getting a divorce, are more likely to cheat. No, not that type of cheating. Full house, I win. Oh my gosh, you totally cheated. You're just a sore loser. Right, Peaches? Oh, oh no! Oh man, you sunk my battleship. Peaches, the other type of cheating. And then not only did she copy my entire outfit, but she called me fat. Well, she didn't actually say it to my face, she said it behind my back. She told her friend, who's actually my friend because I pay her 50 cents a day. Do you think I need my nails done? Of course, whether he cheats on you or not, that's up to him. But really, ladies, if your man is cheating on you, you need to kick him in the you-know-where. Hey, yo! Oh, my sausage! And egg McMuffin! Now, from an evolutionary standpoint, this makes sense. Single men possess more testosterone because they must contend with other men for a mate. Hello? Hey, what the heck, buddy? I saw her first. No, I call dibs. Oh, yeah? Is your name on her? Yup. What the heck? Oh, ho, you think you're a tough guy. Oh, I don't think it. I know it. Oh, yeah? I'll fight you for her. You're on. This is the best movie I've ever seen. Meanwhile, married men have significantly lower levels of testosterone, fathers having the lowest level of all. Stability, day, security, and regular unthreatened sexual access alone can make a man's testosterone level drop. These men are less aggressive, la, 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 la. less likely to drop dead from a heart attack, oh! and are more likely to be a faithful companion. Because in primitive times, if the father stuck around, the baby was more likely to survive. So while these guys may be shyer, less confrontational, and less likely to win any type of fistfight or battle, unless it's a battle of wits, because we ladies just love a man with a sense of humor. Boom, boom, boom. No, I said a battle of wits, not mitts. Oh. These guys are more likely to be a nurturing father and a loyal partner. Next, we have estrogen, the primary female sex hormone. It's produced in the ovaries where the eggs are kept. Uh-oh. Women with smooth skin, gleaming hair, and the hourglass figure with the flat abdomen, or in this case, abdo woman, all signal high levels of estrogen, which men find attractive. So guys, that's why women always marinate themselves in creams and cosmetics. It's to soften the skin with contemporary retinols and alpha hydroxy. Now, men have bigger brains than women. It is a fact. However, as my girlfriends always say, size does not matter. What are you talking about? What? It like totally matters. How did you get in here? You're weird. This is my video. Big bank account. Big heart. Big hair. Big bucket of ice cream. Big on romance. But not a big mouth. Nope. Never a big mouth. This guy once called me the F- <gasps> Fat? Fugly? A foul-smelling, french fry feeding female with a freakishly Frankenstein-like first finger who frustratingly filled his freedom and future with the force. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, as I was saying, the male brain typically weighs 10% more than the female brain. But Size doesn't matter. It's the number of synapses or brain cell connections that matter. Now, women actually have more extensive communication between brain cells than men, thanks to a thicker corpus callosum which connects the two hemispheres. Which basically means that ladies can think more intricately and talk like this. So my friend told me that her mom told her that her coworkers are her cousin's best friend's uncle's brother-in-law smoking the bear having tea the other day. Meanwhile, guys say, huh? Women also have more gray matter in the frontal cortex, the area involved with judgment and decision making, which probably means that women will rule the world someday. Yay, mine! Research also shows that estrogen activates more nerve cells and improves memory. How, you say? When you get stressed, your adrenal glands secrete the stress hormone cortisol. Ow, I have a splinter! But in women, estrogen activates a larger field of neurons, and it prolongs the amount of time that cortisol is secreted. So we actually experience the stress more intensely. Ow, there's a sword in my hand! Again, in primitive times, 
women were the primary caretakers of the children, and it benefited them if they could recall potentially dangerous situations, like which watering hole was frequented by large carnivores with razor sharp teeth. But this is great news for you men! So the next time you fail to bring home the milk from Safeway or Dangerous Path or Heaven forbid you miss an anniversary. Just tell her sorry, honey, but it's not my fault I was born with such low levels of estrogen. I'm simply not meant to remember as much as you. Oh. And the last hormone is oxytocin, famously known as the cuddle hormone. Yay! This chemical is very important for forming close social bonds and being in love. It rises when couples watch romantic movies, hold hands, or hug. For example, when a mother sees her baby, no matter how ugly it is, she still bonds with positive feelings of affection. Now, peaches cover your ears, you're too young for this. Oxytocin increases during sexual activity, peaks at orgasm, and stays elevated for a period of time afterwards. After sex, the pituitary gland, the size of a pea in your brain, floods your body with oxytocin. <laughs> The estrogen in a woman's body magnifies the effect. So her blood pressure drops, she feels dreamy, relaxed, she probably wants to bond through cuddling and talking. This would be called the afterglow effect. However, testosterone in a man's body counteracts the oxytocin effect and neutralizes the impulse to cuddle. So while the woman probably wants to snuggle and spoon, the man is already reaching for the snack in the remote control. But ladies, isn't this reassuring? Afterwards, if your sweetheart decides to roll over and snore off, it's because his testosterone is blocking the oxytocin. You're not being rejected! <gasps> yes! Well, hormones play a momentous role in the way we behave and relate to each other. But whether a man really never remembers, or a woman really never forgets, I'll leave that up to you. Hey guys, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I realize this is what, a seven, a seven and a half minute video? Thanks so much for putting it with my face and my horrible humor. I really appreciate it. This video is a comedic rendition of my physiology semester project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the facts pertaining to physiology are true and accurate. My references are posted below in the info box. Please feel free to share this with your friends, your family, maybe educate a significant other. All right, Peach, it's time to go. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Which probably means that women will, will rule the world someday. Will rule the world. I can't say this. How does the Jaws theme go? Bum, 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 bum. And men always complain that men never forget. That doesn't make sense. So my friend told me that her mom told her that her cousin... <sighs> her co-worker saw her cousin's best friend's uncle's brother-in-law is having, having... And Smokey the Bear having tea the other day. The testosterone. <gasps> One page! <laughs> so my friend told me that her mom told her that her cousin saw her... It's co-worker, not cousins! It's so gross.